Well, anyway, we're broadcasting today live here at Livestream.com. And like I said, we've had a great, great turnout tonight, and they continue. 71 are in the uh, chat room at Livestream.com. There's 70 in the chat room at Blog TV. And how many got at Paul Begley Prophecy? 49. And 49 at Paul Begley Prophecy. So that's 189 people that are chatting in three different chat rooms tonight. So we have a great Sunday night crowd. And again, let's talk about what's been going on. Iran, I mean, excuse me, Israel said to President Obama, we will not give you more than 12 hours notice if we decide to attack Iran. Also, there's tornadoes, as we speak, going through Arkansas. We've been praying for different towns as it's been going through. We know one tornado has touched down in Ryzen, Arkansas. We're praying. Now they're saying there's a tornado headed down I-40 toward Memphis, Tennessee. Also, right here in West Lafayette, Indiana, we're under tornado advisory. Sometime it should start sometime around 11, 12 o'clock tonight. So pray for us. There was an earthquake today, 4.3 in Indonesia. 4.5 in the Norwegian Sea, 3.2 in Quebec, Canada, 4.9 in Chile, 5.2 in Kenya, 4.2 earthquake along the border of Iran and Turkey, and 27 earthquakes, 27 earthquakes in Turkey alone. They were smaller but they were significant enough to be recorded. And then there was 6.0 earthquake in the Sandwich Islands today. And the largest quake of the day, 6.2, Mexico. And Russian scientists have said after extensive study of the seismic activity of the region, they are predicting a mega quake will hit Southern California or Mexico within seven days. This is significant information. I mean, I don't know how you can just release something like that. I mean, how do you do that? But I like the scripture that Ken, uh, Brad just stuck up there in the chat room. Isaiah 41.10 tells us, fear, fear ye not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yes. I will help you, yes. I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Amen. And you know, I, it just reminds me of a scripture that says, for the name of the Lord is a high tower and the righteous run into it and they are safe. Another scripture, David said, for I go to the rock that's higher than I. Another scripture says, uh, the Lord's right hand and his holy arm have gotten us the victory. And the scripture also tells us, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy right and thy staff will comfort me. Thou will prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. He anointeth my head with oil. My cup's running over. Surely mercy and goodness will follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And what about Psalms 91? You can abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And what about Isaiah 54, 17? No weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against me, I'll condemn in judgment. Hey, greater is he that sent us, folks, than he that's in the world. Let me see. I, I got some more scriptures here I want to give you. Give me a second here. Amen. Say amen. We're protected. We are protected. Hallelujah. Here we go. I got some right here. Praise the Lord. Good little handbook here. David said, I have been young and now I'm old. Yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken nor seed begging bread. That's Psalms 37, 25. Hallelujah. Take care of us. Take care of every need. Hang on, I got another one here. I got a better group here. I think that kind of pertains to what we're talking about here. It's all good. Mm -hmm. There it is. Let me go there. Some protection scriptures. Let me go there. 
Almost had it didn't know it. Are you are you okay? Alright. He that dwelleth in the secret place, I'm just quoting this. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, and my God. In him will I trust. Surely he will he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Psalms 91, 1-4 In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. What? Amen. That's Psalm. That's Proverbs 14, 26 through 27. O Lord, thou art my God. I will exalt thee. I will praise thy name. For thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. For thou hast been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in his distress, a refuge from the storm, a shadow from the heat. And when the blast of the terrible ones is as a storm against the wall. Isaiah 25 verses 1 and verses 4. Greater is he that's in you folks than he that's in the world. 4.1 earthquake has just hit Hawaii right now. Thank you for that update. Jesus said in the last days there will be wars and rumors of wars. Nation would rise against nation, kingdom against kingdoms, famines, pestilence, earthquakes, divers places. All these are beginning to sorrow. Men's hearts would fail them for fear that would come upon them. Because iniquity abound, the love of many would wax cold. Scoffers would come in the land, say, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things have continued as they are. The Bible says, except there come a falling away, the end shall not come. Jesus said, when I come, will I find any faith left? I'm telling you, we're living in the days that the scriptures talk about. Five minutes ago, there's been an earthquake in Hawaii registered at 5.0. Six minutes ago, Hawaii was hit with an earthquake of 4.1. We've had two quakes. i got to write that down. 4.1 and 5.0 in Hawaii. Those are significant. Wow. People are hearing the sounds of the apocalypse. Tornadoes are ripping through the south as we speak and headed this way, right toward where I'm at, as we're on the air right now. They're coming out of Arkansas. They're headed toward Tennessee. They're headed probably through Missouri, Illinois. I mean, I know they're coming into Indiana. So this alley is being... And so what I'm saying is, folks, and those of you... And I'm recording a little bit right now, just as we speak, that's going to go up on YouTube. For those of you watching this YouTube video, what you're seeing is a live broadcast. I do this every Sunday night from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, live at my website at paulbegleyprophecy.com paulbegleyprophecy.com you can go there and there's a chat room my wife's in the chat room right now chatting with people praying with people talking with folks we live stream so you can watch the program just like you're watching me right here we're also on blogtv.com we're also on livestream.com so we do this every Sunday night it's our Sunday night three hours commercial free just us, and cup of coffee, the Bible, current news events, updates on things going on around the globe. I didn't even talk about the military. There's 100 tanks that we did a video on. They were moving them out of Santa Cruz. I found out. I got, I got contacted by a naval officer who saw the YouTube video I did and said, Pastor, I just want to tell you. I'm not going to tell you my name. But those tanks did not go to Mexico. Those tanks actually went to San Diego and are being loaded upon a major, huge aircraft carrier. And they're not the only ones. Those hundred tanks is nothing. There's hundreds coming. 